round one. I'm John P. On today's episode of Geek Beat, science versus philosophy. Fight! This episode of Geek Beat is brought to you by Full Sail University. Science! It's such a powerful word. I mean, we have absolute scientific proof. What could be more powerful? In fact, describing something as being unscientific is a downright insult, isn't it? What about morality, though? Or aesthetics? Or worst of all, philosophy? I mean, morality is so unscientific, and philosophy is like the most unscientific creation of mankind ever. Let's face it. Scientists deal in empirical fact, and philosophers deal in puzzles. You know, a few years ago, Stephen Hawking declared at Google's Zeitgeist conference that philosophy is dead. And I mean, it's Stephen freaking Hawking, the renowned physicist. Have you seen his epic rap battle of history with Albert Einstein? He crushed it! There are 10 million, 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 million particles in the universe that we can observe. Your mama took the ugly ones and put them into one nerve. But I digress. According to Hawking, philosophers have not kept up with modern developments in science, particularly physics. Take that Bertrand Russell. Who actually knows who Bertrand Russell is anyway? Well, I do. He was one of the founders of analytical philosophy, a school of thought that uses scientific methods to solve philosophical problems, which tends to dominate the US and the UK in contrast to the existentialism and Marxism found in mainland Europe. Hawking also said that scientists have become the bearers of the torch of discovery in our quest for knowledge. Physics, he says, that's where it's at. But wait just a minute. A famous physicist thinks that philosophy is dead because philosophers don't understand enough physics? <laughs> Maybe that epic rap battle should have pitted Socrates against Hawking, because I believe there might be an opportunity here for the 2,000-year-old star of Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure to remind Hawking that he isn't paying enough attention to ye old adage, I do not think I know that which I do not know. Oh, by the way, speaking of things we know, virtually every industry relies on software technology and Full Sail University, located in Winter Park, Florida, offers bachelor's degrees programs that address the needs for skilled tech professionals through curriculum that blends code and theory with real-world experience. Offered on campus, the Software Development Bachelor's Degree program teaches programming fundamentals through project-based coursework, allowing students to graduate with multiple completed software products. The Mobile Development Bachelor's Degree, offered on campus and online, teaches students how to develop apps and utilities through courses that cover both iOS and Android development. And the Web Design and Development Bachelor's Degree program, also available on campus and online, teaches front-end design, back-end development, coding formats, programming, languaging, and more. All students have hands-on access to technology from day one, they receive a laptop computer at an institutional discount, and all the necessary software and tools. To learn more about Full Sail's web and technology programs, visit fullsail.edu forward slash geekbeat. Where was I? Look them up. Oh, it's under Socrates. Socrates. So if science is so darn scientific, what is philosophy anyway? Or more importantly, are there areas of understanding that science simply can't reach? Because that, my friends, is what philosophy is to me. The origin of the actual word philosophy comes from ancient Greek when it's believed Pythagoras first referred to himself as literally a lover of wisdom. And I don't know about you, but when my grandfather was still around, he used to share stories with me that I don't believe could be defined or even translated into science. When we talk about the mystery of love, can it really be broken down to a chemical reaction? I think not. Can heartbreak be diagnosed by a physician? No, I don't think so. How does one scientifically define morality? We all know it can't. So this is why Hawking's statement doesn't quite work for me. Now, I know we're all geeks here, 
And we love science and specs and speeds and feeds, but that is not what defines us. I believe it's our humanity. It's those who we love. It's those who love us, how we treat one another, whether we're kind, whether we inspire, whether we question everything. And this is the true nature of philosophy. So do me a favor. Take some time today to think about those you're close to and you care about and make it the most important thing in your life to let them know. You never know when it will be your last chance. And at the end of the day, I don't think we will really care how far away the planets are or how to cure cancer if we die of broken hearts. Remember, the unexamined life is not worth living. See you next time.